Okay, Virgo, thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get this energy update for you guys today. I know I missed yesterday. Needed a little break, y'all. I feel like I'm a little under the weather today, but I'm pushing through. Thank you so much for your um, wonderful comments. You guys are always blessing me with your words, and I definitely appreciate that. Thank you for hitting the like button, subscribe button, the thank you button if you're feeling generous. I definitely am on this journey, a, a whole nother journey, right? I feel like I'm starting something new, which we all are. It's like we're going into this new phase. Um, I spent maybe the last two years on a healing journey and now it's like this particular phase that I'm, I'm in now is me really developing my life purpose and um, working in collaboration with those that are supposed to be in my story this season okay so um, I do really suggest that you don't be resistant to any changes um, if you are feeling a little under the weather, just kind of nurture yourself and go with the flow of, of life at this moment, because we are going through certain ascensions and, um, changes and, and we're feeling it. Okay. So our body is definitely taking in a lot of energy y'all. So make sure you are taking care of yourself. You get outside, get grounded if you can. Um, it's been rainy here the last three days, so I haven't been able to really get outside, which that's what I love to do, right? I'm like, I need some sun, please, God, <laughs> right? I thrive off of it, y'all. But however, um, yeah, so let's just see what the energy is like for you. I'm going to set my intentions and then jump right on in. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my true God, for showing up. Thank you for helping me to read for Virgo's highest good. Show me what I need to see. Protect us as we go through these portals to command the fear and close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will. What is it that you want Virgo to know? Don't forget, flip your robes. Take what you need and leave what you don't need. Use the spirit of discernment. Your intuition is your best friend. So, here with the indecision card coming out, the envy card is here, in the fourth chakra, okay? So, somebody has to make a decision. It's time to really let go of the indecisiveness is how I'm seeing it. If you're dissatisfied, make a choice, okay? So, you have two options. Matter of fact, you're being given various options, alternatives um, that you can try you know, but this is all about you um, moving forward is how I'm seeing it, uh, especially when it comes to the matters of the heart with the fourth chakra card coming out, okay? So let's just see what this envy is about and the decision. And again, like I said, it could be your energy or somebody that's connected to you in your story. I'm not exactly sure, um, but I'm just going to read it how I am picking it up, okay? So go to my tarot. Sorry, <laughs> had to do a little exhale. <laughs> okay. Tell me about this indecisiveness and this envy. This is way too many cards. That's where it's hanging. Okay. Seven of Swords. And the Queen of Cups comes out, okay? So, if somebody could be either wearing a mask or some type of deception when it comes to what someone is feeling, possibly, or when it comes to a person. The Queen of Cups is very nurturing, okay? Um, very balanced in their emotions, very intuitive. But what is the deception? It could, look, it could be self-deceit as well. It may not be someone deceiving you. Is someone deceiving this Queen of Cups? It's a maybe, 
but it's the ace of swords in the reverse which represents a no so it's like a masculine energy who could be um in that king of swords energy they are hmm this person is something that's happening it's some type of um they don't have the clarity about something is what I'm saying. They may not feel like they can get the victory in something or they're lacking, they're lacking the direction. They're lacking the wisdom about something. Show me something that they may need to just cut out. Six of Swords comes out. Okay, so, and what I'm saying is like they want to move on from something. Take something, they either want to take a journey, literally, like, literally go somewhere or they're trying to um leave something behind it could be a relationship a job or something okay so what is it that they're hiding they're not doing it in truth they're burdened by something with a queen of swords reverse ten of wands and a queen of swords so they're not really being up front here it seems to be when it comes to this, it's something here that they could probably feel very pressured with, burdened by when it comes to this Queen of Swords reverse. Okay, so the Queen of Swords reverse is definitely karmic energy. And um, they're really a negative influence. Let's just put it that way. They could be very spiteful, very narrow minded person. Very, they often, you know, always like a lot of conflict is how I'm seeing it. So, page of swords so what's happening is they may be this masculine energy may care too much about what this uh person thinks it's like or the fact that they're not communicating clearly with this person it's like they have a lot to say or should be saying but they're not coming out and saying it okay so that's how i'm saying it and they in that King of Swords energy, or they should be, right? Very logical about this, very straightforward. Um, but with that Ace of Swords, it's like the Swords is on the wrong side, man. Because, you know, either it can op you can operate in truth and integrity, or you can operate on the wrong side, which leads to some type of chaos. And it's something that it seems to be that they need to say, but it's burdening them, and they're not saying it, okay? Um... And it may be something that they're keeping from you as well. So, what is it that they're keeping? Or you're keeping from them. I don't know who's playing these roles here. What is it? Three of swords and ten of swords. A lot of swords on the table, y'all. So, it's a lot of um, misunderstandings and heartbreak misfortunes and endings things like that that envy and that jealousy is there um it's a lot going on with that it's a third party type situation and something is happening here so we may not be quite aware of what's going on yeah look at that page of swords reverse y'all because they're not really communicating these things let me see something Someone is not communicating something, okay? And it needs to be communicated. Uh-huh. Or well, somebody could be all talking, no action, or making some type of promises, and they're not keeping them. It could be some type of bad news, um, disappointing news, lack of ideas or planning. Hmm. Yeah, somebody needs to definitely back off and assess the situation objectively before making some quick decisions. Um, and when I was just reading here and it was like, 
the pages will reverse all the negative characteristics of her come out and she may become almost dangerous wow so whoever this karmic energy is this queen of swords reverse because of this ending this person and this is it's been coming out through all the readings i've been doing y'all collective virgo like this person is very disappointed this person is very very in a, like they're in a dark place about this ending with this masculine okay and um it's some things here that this masculine could be kind of keeping away from you when it comes to this because of the state of this person and it's like what i'm picking up is like they know that it could get probably really ugly okay so but they're trying to keep it or protect you in some kind of way is what i'm hearing so i don't necessarily feel like mm -hmm. i would say tell me about the seven of swords it says we're always arguing so somebody's always arguing with a karmic energy okay and they're not telling you this. They may be trying to make it seem like everything is good, but it's not. I'm trying to get my life together comes out. So somebody's definitely spying on um, you and whoever your, your person could be, right? Um, like I said, a person could be your friend, it could be a lover, it could be a family member, however, but somebody does have like fake accounts and things. Tell me about this page of swords reverse. Mm-hmm, burden that came out, right? At Ten of Wands, this masculine energy is heavily burdened by this situation here. This, um, mm, this, car this karmic energy gets actually close to this masculine's friends to keep tabs on them. So, it's this is why it's like they're spying, they're trying to get all this information, trying to see what's going on, setting the record straight comes out. And so, with that page of swords energy coming through, again, it's like whatever the news may be that is disappointing it's bad okay so this masculine energy possibly may even have set the record straight and this is why this person is in this energy but they're not telling you some things here is how i'm saying it when it comes to that situation and how crazy this person may really be okay tell me about setting the record straight Ooh. Too many cards. The magician comes out. So this masculine is really, you know, making it clear, okay? They're making it clear about their plans, their ideas, what they're doing, okay? And what they're trying to manifest. The magician has a lot to do with communicating, um, self-mastery, things like that. Um, the ace of wands comes out here in a reverse position next to that. So what I feel like is that they're making it clear, but... <clears throat> Well, they're trying to, but they get blocked. Hmm. It's like they're trying to make it clear. That's how I'm getting it. And they're getting blocked in some kind of way. It's like they 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 know okay it's like they're getting the idea it's a merger within them but they're not really certain on how to put put it forth how to put it into action it's not clear three of wands comes out right next to it okay 
they're one step away and they're committed to to really you know really trying to do this so that they can be able to um get that perfect opportunity you know how it is it's like you waiting for your ships to sail <laughs> six of swords <laughs> It's almost like they're trying to wait till they can get into some type of calmer waters or something here to set the record straight, to to go forward with what the ideas are, what it is that they need to share or what they're planning here. Mm -hmm. Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups reversed. So in doing so, of course, it's going to lead to somebody's unhappiness, um, disappointment which is already had so I, this could have already taken place or this is what is going to take place okay and what i'm pulling in is like it's creating a lot of envy all right it's creating a lot of um confusion tell me about the envy card right? So I definitely feel like someone is going to set this record straight when it comes to this. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Very disappointed because of the simple fact that it's, it's, it's issues, okay? It's a lot of issues. Financial issues probably. It's probably family conflict, breakups, things like that. Um, why is this masculine energy burdened by this comment? Knight of Wands comes out. It's almost like this karmic thrives on challenges. They're very competitive, okay? Yeah, Ace of Cups in the reverse and the Nine of Cups in the reverse. And they're, they're envious with, or burdened by them because it's like this, um, this masculine, what I'm seeing is like they're trying to grow. They they got a vision. They're trying to go towards that vision. They they are moving past, you know, that stage where they're insecure. They're lacking the confidence, and now they're ready to go after what it is that they truly desire, and they want to do it quickly. But it's just like boom, they can't do it because of what's happening here with that Queen of Swords reverse. Okay, um, it's like they're getting in the way. Why is this karmic getting close to this masculine springs? Because of the Empress. Which could be, you know, of course, that's Earth sign energy. Definitely divine feminine energy. So that could be you, Virgo, you know, depending on what role you're playing in the story, but they're they're doing it to watch out for or see what's happening here with the Empress. They're doing it to see what's happening here and what this ma um, masculine energy is manifesting, you know, as well. So, and what's happening between you and this masculine. If that, yep, there's oh, a lot of moving forward. Yeah. To see how you guys are moving forward. To see um, if you guys actually have come together. We have to see if you guys have gotten the justice. So, why isn't the masculine telling about the situation? Ace of Wands, it's just not clear. They're frustrated, okay? They haven't had the right opportunity. Seven of Cups comes out. It's a lot of stuff like that kind of just gets in the way of them making a decision. They don't get, they're not sure. Like, is this the right thing? Um, should I just keep it a secret? Should I keep it hidden? But why do they feel like they have to protect or not say anything? Judgment. I've seen that try to come out because they know, they feel as though, again, you could 
karma also is what I just heard, or you may judge them on it, on their choices, because of what the, this was a choice that they made, and it's definitely coming back to backfire on them. I feel like somebody may have actually been like, you got to watch this person. Like, this is what's going to end up happening. Like, you may have actually told them about this person if you, and, and they just didn't listen or believe. They don't want your judgment. And I feel like you may have had an experience where um, someone actually did some things. Okay. A karmic energy could have done some things um, that seems like it's very familiar with this story okay it could have been happening in the past before you guys could have done this already before like and you like i'm telling you this was gonna happen it happened before it's the same energy right um but here with the five of pentacles and a reverse what i'm saying is that things are definitely get better most definitely it may be slow but tell me about this fourth chakra Yep, but you were left out in the cold before, I feel like. Yeah, the judgment card comes out again. Let me know about that judgment. King of Swords. There you go again. So, I feel like this masculine energy definitely has this realization, okay? And they're trying to operate in um, that King of Swords energy, being fair, being just, being logical, being truthful, you know, especially when it comes to the matters of the heart. They just don't. Yep. And what I just heard is because of the love that they have. Okay. Um, there's going to be some type of revelation. There's going to be some type. It's like the love is what you both mirror back to each other is what I just heard. But it's like there's going to be some type of um, confession or something's going to come to the light, okay? And that's why I feel like this set in the record straight is coming through, okay? It's at some point this masculine is going to have to set the record straight. This person is going to have to set the record straight here. Yep, look at that. Masculine is closing the karmic cycle. So this is also in the future um, position. So this may be, again, already happened for some of you or coming to pass is what I just heard. Tell me about this. Yeah, it's a very codependent karmic energy. Keep saying the karmic cycle is going to come to a close. It may not be there yet for some. But for some, I feel like you're walking into that. Yep, yeah, I'm trying to get my life together. <laughs> they always thinking about you intimately. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, this masculine has awakened. They awaken. They know who you are. Um, they have this realization, okay? They, they definitely are going through a transition, they want your forgiveness, most definitely. They, like I said, they're in that King of Swords energy, so they could be kind of guarded. They could be, um, but this is a man of action, and they know. They have awakened to your connection, who you are, and if this is a twin flame union, they have awakened to that. They, their karmic is basically in it for some type of money, finances. It could be they want their money, or they may have this idea that this masculine could provide a certain dream for them. Look at that. The karmic always keeps getting close to their friends just so they can get the dibs on what's happening with y'all situation. Okay, so I'm going to pull something here from this love oracle deck and then I'm going to close out. Tell me about the indecision card. heartbroken yeah and that's just what it is it's like it's a lot of hurt mm -hmm. and so 
I feel like when it comes to the situation is it's like they're trying to decide or you're trying to decide like am I is it over am I am I going to give a second chance am I going to grow and transform my life and you know what am I going to do you know can I transcend this these obstacles um or is this going to keep leading me to more heartbreak it's just like somebody is going back and forth back and forth tell me about the envy card I like my cards to flip out, y'all. The mask. So they're not showing it. They're not showing their true feelings. They're hiding it, okay? And that's what we talked about. They're hiding the fact that there's a lot of disappointment. It's a lot of hurt that they're having. They're struggling here. Show me about the fourth chakra. With this interference. Yup, happiness. Paradise, okay? That's about happiness expansion oneness um like i said i feel like their heart chakra or your heart chakra is open already to this okay ascending mm -hmm. and soulmate energy it's like again you gotta share the same soul this partnership okay some of you are twin flame dynamics some of you are higher level soulmates and it's through the love is how I'm seeing it. Your oneness with self that will help you to transcend whatever these obstacles are. Okay, so go into the new phase in your journey. Yep, I've seen the phoenix and it's like through all of this, you will rise like the phoenix, right? Date. Okay, so some of you are um, going to meet someone new after this if you're not willing to stay in this situation and some of you are going to actually start dating this person the bolt card comes out you're going to receive what you need all right stay in alignment with your heart chakra okay look at that the snake comes out kisses as unconditional love this karmic energy coming through the snake deceit um, deception, um, competition, and as we can see, this is what's been happening in your story, okay? I feel like this karmic energy may feel like they're stabbed in their back, a lot of heartbreak, coffee cup, okay? So, you guys definitely could, you know, meet up over coffee, or you should be connecting with some friends or something like that um, to help you maybe feel a little bit more uplifted here in the situation, but whoever this karmic energy is, they're very narcissistic, okay? Um, very narcissistic. Someone that could be actually an empath, but they're narcissistic, okay? So they don't use their spiritual giftings correctly, all right? So, you know, Virgo, we are, as you can see, it's a lot going on in your story. Um, when it comes to you guys closing out certain cycles here in your life, which isn't, you know, a bad thing. Because everything that we experience, we learn from, we grow, and we evolve. Let me what I need to see. And that's the best part. <laughs> so always look for the lesson in your story. Your hard work is paying off. Yeah. Learn from it. Move on, right? New moon in Capricorn. First and foremost, the card suggests a new start for you professionally. Whatever has been going on in your work life, this card heralds the new, a start of a new and improved work cycle. If you're unhappy in your current job, this is the time to either renegotiate your position or look for something new. Whatever your question, whether work-related or otherwise, a new plan and strategy is called for. You need to take a look at the long term and think about where you want to be in 12 months or even in five years' time. That will inform your best course of action now. So think seriously about it. Join this card suggests it's time for you to be ambitious about whatever it is you want to achieve. Turn up the heat. I'm talking about apply pressure. Make a proper plan and execute that joint, okay? Be more disciplined to reach your goals, but your hard work will make your dreams a reality, okay? So this is a very good omen for studying or teaching. 
don't be too controlling and avoid anyone who is controlling. But <coughs> sorry, y'all. Pulling this card at any time suggests that planning and discipline. With planning and discipline, you can achieve whatever it is that you set your mind to. Your hard work is paying off. You may be working hard, diligently to manifest it, what you desire. It's working. So don't fold on your dreams, Virgo. Okay? All right. So I love you guys. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all Saturday. Peace.